Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're gonna be asking the question, which one will make you more money, learning Python or JavaScript? All right, welcome back. Before we start this video, I wanna make sure you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers you get, the more content we can make. So if you wanna choose a programming language, which one should you choose? Now there are lots of programming languages out there, and today we're gonna to be exploring Python and JavaScript, and specifically, which one's gonna make you more money? Now the answer to this question really depends on what you wanna do. If you really wanna be a data scientist, then Python is easily the answer, but if you wanna build websites, then JavaScript is pretty much the answer. But if you're on the fence, which one should you choose? Well, let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of each one of them, starting off with Python. Now, Python is a very easy to learn language, and the reason is that it lets you get away with a lot of errors. And when I mean errors, I mean errors, because these errors are not necessarily computing errors, but they're personal errors. So sometimes there is scripting errors, and these errors are completely uncompilable, and other times there are logic errors, which need a little bit more work. Now, Python lets you get away with a lot more of these, where in other languages like C++, that absolutely wouldn't happen. So, it's very easy to learn and it's very versatile as well. Now, the big thing about Python is that if you really like data science or machine learning or any kind of uh, items like that, then Python is clearly the route for you. But Here's the thing about machine learning. Just because it's in demand right now doesn't mean you should code it. One of the things that I highly recommend that anyone do when they're learning to code is that they should learn what they want to do. If you want to make games, go make games. You want to make websites, go make websites. You want to do machine learning, go do machine learning. Don't learn something just for the sake of learning it or just because someone told you. Do what you want and what makes you excited to code. This will be a lot better for you in the short run. And if you want to make a career pivot later on, then you're more than welcome to. Now, of course, if you're learning to code, you should delve in many different topics, but that's a topic for another video. So please be sure to like and subscribe. Now, Python is, again, really good for machine learning and data science because there's a lot of frameworks around it. You just can't do this in other languages as well. In fact, it is probably the best language to do it in. So if you want to do those kind of things, go with machine learning. Machine learning engineers do make quite a bit of money. Then again, it's also really hard to become a machine learning engineer because it is very demanding and the math and the concepts around machine learning are very, very complex. So what that means is while there are lots of jobs in Python that pay a lot, a lot of the lower end jobs are more like automation tasks and you don't really get a lot of good machine learning jobs right out of the gate. If you are just coming out of a boot camp or you're just starting to learn to code, it's going to be very hard to get those data science and machine learning jobs right away. So let's take a look at JavaScript. Now JavaScript is a language that has been used for decades and it is fairly standard for web-based technology. Now the thing about JavaScript is that there are a lot of frameworks and the web basically runs on JavaScript or some variant of JavaScript. So if you learn JavaScript, it's very applicable to other languages. In fact, I would argue that JavaScript is closer to C++ than Python is, and this is a good thing because C++ is a very good and standard language to know. So the best thing about JavaScript is that if you're just learning how to code and you need a few jobs here and there, there are a lot of opportunities with JavaScript and JavaScript frameworks, meaning that you can get a lot more experience right out of the gate. And because you can get a lot more experience, the career path for JavaScript is that there is a lot more room. Now the thing about JavaScript is that because there are more low-end jobs, the career path is much better. But at the same time though, there is a lot more competition. So you need to find a way to differentiate yourself. With Python and machine learning, the hard part about it is that not everyone can do machine learning. It is very, very complicated. So with JavaScript, the scope is much bigger. You can do a lot of different technologies. You can make websites, you can make apps, you can make mobile apps, believe it or not, with JavaScript. There's a ton of things that you can do with it. And because JavaScript is basically the foundation level for the web, there are a ton of frameworks that you can specialize in. And if you specialize in React or any kind of other one of these web frameworks, it is really good. There's even some machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow.js. Now, I would not recommend using this right out of the gate, but if you're really interested in web and machine learning, there are some really cool applications for it. So I highly recommend checking it out. 
The biggest thing though is that if you really want to make money with coding, you have to get those jobs. And the jobs with JavaScript and web technologies are far more plentiful. And if you've ever taken a job before, you'll realize that you'll learn something on every new job. And this is something that's really good for you because the more little jobs you get, the more you learn. In fact, I would argue you would learn more by doing lots of little jobs and working with lots of different people than doing one big job. Kind of like how you should be building small little projects versus building one big project. So which one will you make more money in the long run. Well, I think JavaScript is the clear winner here. Believe it or not, JavaScript will make you more money. At least it will be more practical. You can get money paid in within a month or so. But with Python, it's a lot harder to get jobs when you're first starting out. All right, so that concludes this video. I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. And if you really like this channel, you can buy our digital products down below as this channel doesn't do a Patreon. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in another video.